Hello, welcome to my workshop. My name is Chris Pine. Uh, time with Pine, oh, what number is this? 11 or 12, I can't remember. So I'll figure it out, put it on the title, but just a quick vlog today. Uh, I'm not gonna have a project video this week. I am just burned out. I have been swamped with different projects I've been doing uh, for work, for home, for family. Uh, and I'm a member of Toastmasters. I just got done with uh, some competition speeches. So I've just been busy the last several weeks. And uh, so I'm going to take a break this next week, but I will probably have a video project out uh, a week from Friday. And I have really been uh, evaluating what I've been doing here on my channel and stuff. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate the viewers that I do have and their positive comments. It's overwhelming at times. You guys are so positive and encouraging that I couldn't wish for a, a greater group of people that watch my videos. And I truly do appreciate you all very much. Um, I'm just trying to see what direction I want to go with the videos and things. And largely, uh, you know, we all want those numbers. We all want large subscriber numbers and everything. but. Uh, it, it only comes as it comes, you know, I could do the best I can, improve my videos, improve the quality of what I'm doing, and that might help some. And uh, just the frequency I always thought was pretty important, and I wasn't doing that initially, it was every two to three weeks, and I've been trying to up the ante a little bit, but I find myself trying to compromise on perhaps the size of the project, um, sometimes even a little bit of the quality. Uh, this last project was a lot of fun. Uh, the robot, the, my idea was more fun than actually executing it. Uh, it kind of turned into a pain, to be honest with you. Uh, I think it turned out well enough, but it could have turned out so much better if I'd have planned better and not rushed it. But uh, my intention on those arms for the, for the, up on the body there uh, was to use a Forstner bit and just drill out a section for each uh, little uh, round disc to go in. Uh, and I mangled it doing that, trying to do that. Uh, I should have rigged up something to hold it better so that it would be still and then I could put the bit down into it. But uh, I didn't show any of that on video because honestly I was, uh, I didn't take very good video of that either. So uh, regardless, I just ended up cutting out those sections with the bandsaw and, and then I nicked the other part of the thing and I was just about ready to scrap the whole project and I thought, well, I'm almost done. Let's see if we can clean it up a little bit and make it work. And uh, I appreciate your positive comments, but uh, that one deserves a redo, I think, with uh, a little more time and focus and do a little better job on it. Uh, one of the comments from Woodworking Fangirl was, I should make a larger version of this robot out of cake. And uh, I, I <laughs> maybe I could pull that off. I don't know. I love cake, but I'm not so sure I'm that good at making sculpture cakes. So maybe woodworking fangirl, you all find her in my comments of the video and tell her she needs to make the cake and we'll all come over and eat it. But anyway, it was kind of a funny comment. I, uh, I've never made a sculpture type cake, so uh, I don't know how well that would turn out if I did that. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. Uh, like I said, I don't think I'm going to have a project video out this week. Again, thank you so much. I did make a video of me changing my blades on my planer. I don't know if you're interested in that. I might attach that onto the end of this. Uh, it's kind of springtime. Uh, I really don't plan it every spring, but whenever I need to do uh, change the blades on my planer, I do much more than that. I go through, lube it up, clean it up, wax up the base, do all kinds of things to make it work better. If you will do that, It'll make your shop time and experience so much more enjoyable if your tools are working as good as they can. So uh, for what it's worth, I appreciate you. Again, I thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you real soon. God bless. Have a great week. By the way, I got this in the mail from Nick Ferry, obviously. And uh, when I pulled this out of the envelope, my wife asked, is that the guy that came to the door the other day? <laughs> and I had to laugh because this is what she's referring to. And uh, this guy came to the door the other day. He's running for uh, Denver City Council. So I emailed Nick. I haven't got a response. So I don't know if you ever got the email. But uh, I told him that if this woodworking thing didn't work out, he could always run for, for, uh, 
for pol be a politician and run for office. But I uh, thought that was kind of funny. Um, <laughs> and uh, he's already got the banner for it. So, shoot, I don't know. Depending on the, his take on some of the issues, I might vote for him. It's giving... It's getting close to springtime, and it seems like every year I beat up my planer knives for pretty good. And uh, I've already flipped these ones. Uh, these are the kind on a Delta planer that have two sides to them. And they are, what's the word? They have the pins in there, so it's pretty easy. You don't have to line up much. You just change them out. And uh, I usually... In a joking way, I say I sharpen my planer blades well, with a uh, credit card. And how you do that is you just buy a new set of blades every time. But uh, I know these blades for a fact. I ran a board through here uh, with a nail in it. So they're probably pretty much ruined. And uh, I'm going to have to change them out anyway. I don't know. The other side might be worth trying to sharpen. But uh, for now, we're just going to put a new set in. So... Let's get to that. So I don't know if you can see, uh, these aren't actually too bad of condition, uh, although the one side does have some pretty serious nicks and uh, hardly, my, in my opinion, hardly worth trying to uh, take those and sharpen them down. But this, yeah, there are those nicks. I don't know if you can see this very well on camera, but there's some serious nicks on that side of the blade. So, I think we are just going to do like past years and we're going to sharpen these with a credit I've card. I've cleaned up this a little bit. Sometimes you get a build up. Uh, there was a little bit of corrosion on here. I just took a little uh, oil and a little piece of 220 sandpaper, cleaned it up a little bit. No big deal, real easy. And uh, here's the new blade. And uh, has a little oil on there. I'm not going to. Clean it off too much, but we'll wipe it off a little bit. It's really simple. There's these indexing pins, and that goes along with the holes. So it's pretty easy. You just place it on there, on those pins, and uh, reinstall everything. Easy as cake. And I like that, because uh, not having to adjust these knives is is a godsend okay do that on the other set and I the other knife as well it's really all there is to it it's a piece of cake uh, it's really easy to change knives on these type of planers so Hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching. Another thing I do periodically is to clean the surfaces, the bed, um, and to put a good coating of wax on them. I like to use just a paste wax. I've had this can for years and I still got majority of it left. And I use it for all kinds of things as well as uh, projects, woodworking projects, but also for stuff like this it really works well. So it's easy. Just put paste, put a coat of the paste wax on, healthy coat, let it dry, harden up, and then buff it on. Another thing I like to do when I'm cleaning up my lathe, or excuse me, cleaning up my planer, is to also lubricate uh, all the parts that take lubrication. And I just started trying this, the dry lube. Um, I got it at Home Depot. And I used the, the posts here, uh, the, uh, the screw back there, and anything that has movable parts, you want to lube that up. And you can tell a big difference in how this is, uh, how this is moving. So 
I look forward to the next time I get to use this because it's going to be like a new machine. So thanks for watching.